Okay, let's get started. Welcome everybody to another CTC webinar with the SIM projects suite. Today we're going to be talking about parts swapper and parts tagger. There will be more webinars coming up in the near future, getting into more of the pipe tools that we have. So this is going to be broken down to keep things short for time interests. My name is Tony Crick. I'm the civil product manager here at CTC Software. And I'll be giving this presentation today and the upcoming pipe ones as well. Thank you for joining us. And if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in. We'll get to them at the end. And with that, let's move on. So Pipe Planner, it's one of our more popular tools. It is a pretty robust tool. And we know that in civil 3D, pipe designs often change. And when that happens, editing isn't always the easiest thing to do in civil 3D. So CTC has come up with some time-saving tools that will make that much easier to do. So first we're going to talk about pipes, Pipe Swapper. It's part of, again, the Pipes uh, module tool. And you might notice right there it's a light green tool. That means it is free. So if you download our trial, you get 14 days. Whether you decide to buy it or not, um, that part swapper will be free along with the other light green ones you see in survey feature to alignment, which we've done some webinars on, Survey Sweeper as well, and Corridor Cleanup. So what does Part Swapper do for you? Well, it eliminates the tedious part of swapping things one at a time through the native tools. So we can swap multiple parts if we have the same things we want to change. We don't have to do that over and over and over again. And we can swap pipes and structures in one application through Pipe Swapper. And replacement parts are all from your parts catalog list. So nothing proprietary here. It's all based on Civil 3D. Uh, this will just make your life easier. So we can select our parts in plan or profile and we can choose them individually or by the whole network. And we can add parts to the selection if needed after the tool is opened. And the replacement is the same as native editing. It's just a little easier to do. So then parts tagger, uh, that's a little different tool that does more things. It replaces the tedious process again of all the manual value entries and we can push those values to many parts at once so we don't have to again go into those one at a time and pick through the list and change things. But we can do it's tied to because it's not um, proprietary again if you're using structure schedules or tables for anything, they will also update as you change your parts. And we can change uh, multiple user-defined values in a single command. And we will show you some of those coming up here. So again, we just use, you can use the out-of-the-box parts catalog or your own structures or for your structures and pipes or your own stuff depending on how you have things set up. Everything that is in your drawing will be available. And we can assign and change our reference alignment and surface. We can do them together all at once for a whole series of parts. And then again, too, everything that's available in your manual editing will be available in parts tagger. For instance, your material, your frame, your grate, and more, all in one tool. 
And again, we can do individual parts or the entire network. So let's get to it and see what we have here. Okay, so here we just have a simple drawing, um, a simple example layout here. I have an alignment, I have some pipes, I have some laterals, I have a schedule, created a storm structure schedule, created, and if you're using that, it's uh, not a CTC thing, it's created just right from the add table right here. However, you have your table set up, whatever you do, um, it's right there. And all the editing to it is, oops, is native. So again, we're just drawing off of um, the civil 3D stuff here. And we're going to see how some of that updates for it. So again, anything you put in your headers, this is all everything that's showing up, however you have it set up. So what do we have to do if we want to replace some of these parts natively? So if we want to swap these parts, we can. We can come here and we can right click. We've probably all done this, swap part, come here, we get the list, you can pick through it. That's it, one at a time. We can't do more than one at a time. If I select this, and I select another one down the line here, and I do my right click, you can see now I can't do any part swapping. And again, too, we can come up and we can do this in profile as well, which again, it's not available in a right click. Down here, you have to come up to pipe swap again off the ribbon tab. But if you try two of them, it's not going to let you do that. So we can do that all at once with Civil 3D. I mean, with CTC tools through Civil 3D. And as always, you can come over here too, you know, you can do it this way again kind of clumsy if you want to do stuff here everything we can do here um, we'll see that in pipe uh, tagger or parts tagger that we can change some of these things too and individually editing them here Again, one at a time, everything, pick through the list, what you want, kind of cumbersome. I'm not going to change that right now. We'll get to that later. So let's try part swapper. Let's see what, how we can make this a little easier to do. So we click on part swapper and I don't have to pick everything I want to swap right away. So I can come in here and do it this way. Once the tool is open, it's modal. So I can clear that off of there and I can come back to here if I want to. If I want to do some of these um, lateral instead. So we have some round inlets here. If it was designed that way initially and then we needed rectangular ones, again, we would have to do that one at a time. We'd have to pick structure pop properties, come through here and change all that stuff as I showed you before. So with part swapper, I can grab 
all of these and change them. I mean, I can do structures and pipes if I want to. I'll show you that in a minute here. We're going to just go with these structures for now. So the, the interface is right here. It's a typical CTC if you've used our tools interface. We have all the same stuff down here as our, is available here. Helpful videos, um, which will direct you to our site. And this webinar will be up there shortly as well, along with a host of other helpful videos to look at. So again, we went by the select parts and we showed you this, or we could grab the whole network too if we wanted to. We could just say the whole network. And it grabs all the structures, all the pipes. We're gonna leave it at individual. So I'm just gonna pick a couple here. I'll pick these three inlets to change. So here's where my parts list is coming from, right here. Everything that's in your tool space over there. So let's change out a couple of these to catch basins. So just that quick, we changed those three. And now we notice they're all like that. So I can go and come and select all of these to do. And we don't have to work in the contextual ribbon up here. As you saw, we can switch to, to this uh, to parts swapper right there. I'll go grab these others down here. Again, we'll change them to the same thing. We'll match our list. All these are available in your drawing. And they change just like that. Also, we can do it in profile view here. Let me undo those real quick here. And we'll change those in the profile view. So we can come up here, we can do the same thing. We know this is the lateral portion. That one we already did. This will be this bunch right here. And we'll see these change in the profile view as we do it. Oops. So we should see those change in the view. And there we go. Let me fix these two down here since we undid those. So we can do just like that. So let's do a couple more here. I think you get the idea. We can do a whole stretch of pipes here. We can do manholes along with pipes. And I could select these manholes down here and the pipes up there. Any combination, it really doesn't matter. So let's change these. change these two, this one and this one. Let's make those a little bigger. 
to match. We're going to grow these pipes. Say we want to go from uh, 30 to 36. So here we can see we've got the two structures. We've got the three pipes. So again, I can come in here and I can make these 60. I can make them whatever. Let's make them 72 just so we can see them better. And then our pipe, our concrete pipe, we'll make those 36. And you'll see even the labels update. So everything's tied to them. Change this one by itself. Let's make that a 48. Just if things. Um, you know, a lot of times you're going to do your, whoops, you're going to do your design and pipes will, sizes will change. And that's part uh, swapper. And we would see these update to over here in the schedule. So there's a 72. There's a couple more 72s. We added right there. So let's go to part tagger. Let's talk about that. Again, same thing if we needed to to change some things in here. Um, grades, alignments, reference alignments, whatever. We would have to, again, come in here. Light properties. One at a time. What is it reference to? This one doesn't have a surface or a reference alignment. It's kind of out there. Just hanging by itself. Maybe we didn't have that to go through. You would have to come through here, pick these things one at a time. And if everything was the same, you'd have to do it again and again. So parts tagger, everything that's available, as we said, through the native stuff is available with the parts tagger. And just like the other tool, once you pick one, the, the tool will open up and it will give you the option to pick more if you want. You can add them interactively. To pick a few here to show what we uh, can update. So here's what we can update with the pipes. We have a reference surface. We don't have one to some of these. We saw that reference alignment we can grab. There's also a Manning's coefficient. When we know what that is, we can apply that to our pipes as well right here. Structures, same thing. Material, what do we want to do? Um, well, I'll show you that in a second. We'll change a couple of those to show the schedule, how that updates. The frame, the grade might be a typical thing on the grade. Maybe you have a DO2 spec that they require um, in our area, Nina, Nina Foundries. DOT likes to uh, spec out a lot for those. And we can put descriptions down here too to uh, kind of better explain things if we need to do that. So let me close that real quick and let's go back to the table. So here's some of the things whatever you have in your table. So the type, we saw that conch right there or reinforced, and we don't need to say reinforced. Here's some of those alignments. We can see that some of these aren't referencing the proper alignment. These uh, mainline manholes are somehow got reference to a storm lateral alignment. And then your details, if that changes, we can take care of that too. 
So we have other tools in there, and we'll get to that in a bit, but I just want to show you one thing here that I noticed when I was setting this up is that this manhole 19 seems out of place. Maybe it was auto named, I don't know how it happened, but we can change that real quick too. That's not available in parts tagger. And we have multiple tools here and I'm just gonna open this up real quick to change or to show you how we can change that manhole 19 to fall better in line. I can just come in here and edit that, make that 11. Some of these catch basins, we probably want a CV label in front of them. And these tools are part of the pipes um, module in the project suite. So that quickly, I'm going to guess that, did I just change that? I don't know what that one is. I'll just call it 25. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. So I say apply. It's updated. OK. So now that manhole became number 11. I don't have these CVs um, labeled. And we have a, another tool. Label Genie, where we can do all of these at once too. So we can pick all those. And we changed all those, now they're CVs instead of just generic numbers. So let's open parts tagger up again and we'll change these CVs. We'll give them the Nina foundry that I spoke of. For the grade, for calling those out, we'll reference the proper alignments. You'll see these change. These question marks will be filled in. Here's 25. So that's a part of the storm lateral. I 48 inch CB looks like, should have been a CB. So let's go to parts tagger. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire network. So I can assign um, our reference alignment to it. So we want it to be our main street alignment. So this is handy if you have crossing streets and maybe part of the pipe is referenced to a different alignment. Again, we can do the same thing right here. Reference surface. We want those structures to fill into the finished ground. We'll do the same with the pipes for our depth reports. So with that, I'm just going to say, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan over here so we can see these change in our storm structure. So here's our finished ground, our main alignment, and we'll see these, all this update when I hit apply. Oh, there it went. So we see they all are calling that out and we've got our stations and offsets. All that is filled in. Let's go back. We said we were gonna put some of these descriptions on here. Some of this stuff, this type. Let's just do that real quick. I'll just grab this one right here. And I'll come back to add interactively 
to get all my catch basins. Do I can plan? Easier to grab and plan. So we'll grab those. I don't know why those aren't highlighted. Should have been. Maybe I grabbed the wrong thing. We'll find out. So again, here in the grade, we have a, a name to type in. So we'll type in, if it was spec to Nina, maybe a 3157 CV curb box material. We can change all of those to concrete. So cover, we could change that if we wanted to. Again, that's also available. Some of these are crossover to some of our other tools up here. So again, I'm going to pan over to our table. We'll see these things change. Our casting will change. Our type will change. So I'll say apply. We saw those change. Concrete, here's where our uh, castings have updated. And there's much more we can do with these tools. Um, but that's really all um, I was going to show you today. Some of the flexibility we have with these tools, uh, a lot easier a lot quicker than doing them manually. And again, using some of our other pipe design tools that we will get into in uh, future webinars. So with that, that's all I have to show you today. Try to keep it quick in case you need to reference this later in the video. So thank you again for joining us. I appreciate having you here. It's our pipes module. It's part of our CTC SIM project suite. I guess I didn't change that. We're up to 24.0 now with both our project suite and our management suite. And these tools will work back to, uh, in Civil 3D back, four versions back to you know, version 20, Civil 3D version 20. So if you need any help, have any ideas, uh, contact us at CTC Software or your local re reseller. Uh, we'll take any advice we can have, any ways of improvement, improving our tools. We always appreciate your input. With that, thank you again, as always, for joining us. We'll see you next time. Yeah.